wedding season and while many weddings aren't happening right now, yours did and that means you might have an anniversary coming up. And if you're divorced, that can raise all kinds of emotions and feelings. Anger, resentment, regret, sadness, all of those things can happen on the date of your anniversary. Even if you wanted the divorce, you can still feel nostalgic for a dream of what could have been. Usually the first couple years after your divorce are going to be the most emotional. That's okay, allow yourself to feel everything. It's a natural part of the grieving process. And it's a process. So while you might have felt fine yesterday, something can trigger you such as an anniversary. If you find yourself in this place, it's okay to cry and mourn, but be careful not to let this moment bring you to a backslide of old feelings that you had. And all of the work that you did to get out of the place of negativity and to move forward can easily be reversed if you allow anger and blame to creep back into your mind. Looking back will only get you stuck. And if you're continuously looking behind you over your shoulder, you're eventually going to walk into a wall. Your future is in front of you. And sometimes that means just taking one small step forward at a time. One step at a time will get you closer to a point of becoming at peace with what your marriage was or was not. So if it's your anniversary, allow yourself to feel everything you're feeling, but then do something for yourself. Choose an activity that brings you joy. It could be going for a hike. It can be just getting lost in a book or maybe going for a picnic with your children. Do something that reminds you of the good that still exists in your life. I know you didn't expect this plot twist, but you're entitled to an alternative happy ending.